in the lightweight division at UFC Paris. You got Ferris Zim taking on Matt Ravola. Zim comes in at 15 and 4. He's the hometown favorite, right? From France. Matt Ravola, American. He's 11 and 4. Now, Zim's going to be 4 inches taller at 6'1. He's 27 years old. For Fola, 34. Zim has a 4 inch reach advantage. They both stand right handed. Provola is more active, 3.7 significant strikes per minute to 2.7 for Zium. Now, when you get into takedown ability, Matt Provola is, you know, better, more active there too. Landing like a takedown on average, just shy of that, but per round, one takedown per round. Now, Fair Zium, 67% takedown defense is going to need every bit of that in this fight. But the guy's coming off three wins in a row since uh, getting finished by submission uh, to Terrence McKinney. He's beat McCall Figlock. Decision. Chai Herbert, decision. And Claudio Puelis, decision. So the guy's on a little bit of a run. Now for Vola, just 42% takedown defense. Not great. Lost to Benoit Saint-Denis. Seems like there are several guys on this card that lost to him by first-round KO. He did beat Drew Dober. Think about that. By KO. Admin Azatar, KO. Gennaro Valdez, KO. So this guy is certainly capable uh, of finishing his opponents. It's going to be an interesting fight, you know, uh, when you look at this, because which Matt Provola is going to show up? The guy that beat Jalen Turner, Drew Dober, and Otman Azatar, or the guy that lost to uh, Terrence McKinney? So it, it seems like he beats fighters he's supposed to and loses to guys that are on the upper echelon. McKinney's probably the lower of those guys, when you look at Armand Sarukin and Benoit Saint Denis, but listen, I got to go with, and I can't believe this again. I mean, we're going against the French fighters uh, on this card, up and down. We're either gonna, it's either gonna go great or we're gonna pay for it. We'll see, because when guys fight at home, they tend to do better, uh, you know. But I got to go against him in this one. I like Mafravola, man. I mean, I know it's a toss up, but he's slightly better striker and he lands more takedowns. Zim doesn't have great takedown defense. Maybe the home crowd will give him a boost. But listen, I like Matt Frivola, uh to get the win here. Probably by decision. Um, I'd love to see him get the finish. He needs one, right? Because he always gets the finish. You don't want to see him go to a decision, which could lean more toward Zim in the third round. So I think Matt Frivola's probably got to get the KO to win. So I'm leaning that way. But regardless, Matt Frivola wins this fight, in my opinion, to move to 12-4, and four, lightweight division, UFC. Paris.